It's Friday, so you know what that means. Let's welcome tonight's guests. Like a genie, she can also fit in a bottle. Co-host of America's Newsroom and the Five Data Burrito. <laughs> Hide him from your wives, because they'll probably kill themselves. Comedian Joe Mackey. <laughs> He's my third favorite, Lou, after Ferrigno and Cypher. Comedian author of That Joke Isn't Funny Anymore, Lou Perez. <laughs> and she does her best lifting at the gym, where she steals purses in the locker room. Okay. New York Times best-selling author, Fox News contributor, <laughs> Okay, before we get to some new stories, let's do this. Greg's Leftovers. Yeah. Mmm. It's Leftovers, where I read the jokes that we didn't use this week, and as always, it's my first time reading them. So if they suck, we'll throw Mackie into a meat grinder and make Mackie meatballs. And, <laughs> and then force feed them to Steve Ducey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Up first, uh, medical researchers say nose picking can lead to memory loss. <laughs> I really don't have to say anything. <laughs> oh, this is easy. Well, speaking of Joe, yesterday, a special counsel investigating Joe Biden's classified documents called him an elderly man with a poor men memory. <laughs> Hate to be that guy, says one man. <laughs> oh, damn. Meanwhile, a new study shows erectile dysfunction medications might lower the risk of Alzheimer's in elderly men. <laughs> Sorry, there's only so much I can do, says one woman. <laughs> yeah. Earlier at a campaign event, Biden claimed he spoke with Francois Mitterrand years after the French president's death. He also claimed he spoke with Helmut Kohl, who's also dead. <laughs> it had AIDS in a panic, but it turns out Dr. Jill had just replaced his iPhone with this. <laughs> and in last night's presser, President Biden also mixed up Mexico and Egypt. Oh. It's an easy mistake to make. They're both countries. <laughs> Meanwhile, on CNN, Jeffrey Tubin said the comments about Joe Biden in the report were inappropriate. <laughs> and I know inappropriate, he said, <laughs> while feverishly masturbating in front of his coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> One after the other. Now, as you already know, Joe says he's not going to do that traditional Super Bowl halftime interview. But thankfully, CBS found a replacement that's just as articulate. <laughs> so, many people are wondering, how is Vice President Kamala Harris reacting to Biden's performance? We go now live to the VP. I think we, uh, we could probably move on. I think we can move on now. So Delta Airlines announced plans for new airport lounges, but only for premium members. In response, Alaska Airlines invited all flyers to enjoy their open door <laughs> policy. <laughs> yeah. Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg declined to answer. <laughs> wow. All right, settle down, boys. <laughs> Bragg declined to answer why seven illegal immigrants who attacked cops were released without bail. He also refused to answer why his lawn and hedges look fantastic. <laughs> yeah. This week, King Charles was diagnosed with a form of cancer. Doctors say the cancer has been around for eight years, is five feet six inches, and has dark brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Squatters took over 1,200 homes in Atlanta and opened illegal strip clubs. In related news, Hunter Biden moved to Atlanta. <laughs> Finnish Air, otherwise known as Thin Air, announced it will start weighing passengers. If this catches on here, there goes ABC's travel budget. <laughs> Speaking of The View, Sunny Hostin, when appearing on an Ancestry program, just found out that she's a descendant of slave owners. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Joy Behar found out she's a descendant of slave ships. <laughs> Funny, because they're big. <laughs> a drunk and fully naked Florida man was arrested after he was caught strolling through an airport terminal. Luckily, he only had one bag to check. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Dana. I'm sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> but if I said one testicle to check, it wouldn't work. <laughs> Disney is reportedly considering replacing Johnny Depp's character, Jack Sparrow, with a female. But we hear Amber Heard is free, <laughs> and she knows how to swab a poop deck. <laughs> worked perfectly. Torrential rain has brought record flooding to Southern California. Fortunately, though, hundreds of residents have been able to stay dry by taking shelter under Kim Kardashian's ass. <laughs> That's not a mudslide. <laughs> yeah, took it too far. Finally, during a recent interview, actor Henry Cavill, or whatever his name is, said he's not a fan of sex scenes. He joins many other people who hate them, especially those who don't have sex at all. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Oh, you're going to get a lot of sympathy love after this show. <laughs> all right, now to the news. Biden addresses the special counsel's report as his job appears to be on life support. The president surprised everyone last night when he gave an impromptu primetime speech and press conference. It came just hours after a special counsel announced no charges in Joe's classified document scandal. But the report also described Joe as a, quote, sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. So last night, Biden tried to convince America that he's just fine. <laughs> But, but in reality, he did the opposite when he confused two countries on opposite sides of the earth. I'm of the view, as you know, that the conduct of the response in, Gaza, in the Gaza Strip has been um, over the top. I think that... Uh, As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. Well, at least Dr. Jill didn't refer to the leader of Egypt as a breakfast taco. <laughs> but you got to wonder, why did he do the presser? Who told him it was a good idea? Bud Light? The White House press corps even turned on him, yelling out questions that he didn't want to answer. It was almost as if they were actual journalists. <laughs> so this is all happening as Tucker Carlson interviews Russian President Vladimir Putin for two hours. Apparently, all those reports of Putin's poor health are as phony as Biden's good health. <laughs> Old Vlad went on and on, rattling out historical facts and global history. This as our president decomposes in real time. You know, to find a bigger contrast, you'd have to get me to stand next to someone ugly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> now, you can call Putin a murderer, dictator, propagandist, but there's one thing you can't call him incapable. Unlike Joe, last night the universe served up one hell of a contrast. We have a cunning adversary in Putin, and Russia has a confused, befuddled one in Biden. One leader recites his country's history going back multiple centuries. Another sniffs hair and talks to the dead. <laughs> But you got to thank the media who shielded the public from the truth about Joe for so long. This, as they wrote countless pieces on Putin's mystery illnesses, his shaking limbs, his alleged heart attack. Maybe he had a body double, the media speculated. Hell, with Joe, we should be so lucky. <laughs> but it raises the question, how can Biden stand up to Putin if he can't even stand up to gluten? And thanks to Joe, as a country, we're nearly as divided as Russia and Ukraine. One says half America first, the other says half America sucks. <laughs> Meanwhile, all Putin keeps worrying about is the necessity of a national identity. But after last night, it's becoming clear, maybe we should too. Mm. Yeah. Period. Period. Dana, there are so many questions I want to ask you about <laughs> last night, but let's stick to the press conference. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Hot tubs or something else. Hot tubs. <laughs> was that his decision? If it was this, this, his decision, did they say just go for it because they knew it was going to be a disaster? What, is, what do you think happened? I, I no, I, as press secretary, I would have threatened to resign. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done here. Yeah. I've, done, I've really done all I can, and I can't lie, so I can't, I can't go out there. Um, even if it was a staff decision, everything comes from the top. Yeah. So I don't. I'm not buying the excuse that the staff did it. And also, here's what I thought. I thought it was a good decision for them to have him come out and say something. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, just having a vacuum there would be. It's going to be filled by somebody and like by you, yeah. for example. So um, I thought it was smart. Come out, give a, like a nice tight statement. Yeah. And then they should, I never thought he would take questions and neither did the press, right? Yeah. They start freaking out because they never get to ask a single question. And he starts attacking the press and then he did that fatal mistake. He pulled a Columbo. Mm, one more thing. He's walking out the door and he takes one more question and he walks back to the podium and that's when you know all the staffers started having a heart attack. Yeah. Because up until that point, it was like, it's not great, but it's kind of fine. But then when he said Mexico, and I, I have the same thought, I'm like, there's pyramids in Mexico. Yeah. It's not the same place. But at least he didn't say it was Mubarak. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I think I would have said, sir, go out, give a statement. And tomorrow morning, when you're fresh and after the oatmeal, you can do your press conference. Joe, you know, it's funny. We, we, you talked about, you said the word tight. And the thing is, the real problem, I think, is not the words. It's the spacing okay. between the words. You could drive a semi between his words. Joe, by the way, congratulations on that brand new members only jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, um, are you now kind of their official spokesperson or model? Yeah. Yes, Greg. I expect their sales to plummet. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be there, Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, who's running the country? <laughs> Things are going terribly, so Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that press conference was a, a bigger disaster than the special counsel report. He mixed up uh, Mexico with Egypt, mm -hmm. and then he mixed up uh, America with China when he said he got a country back on its feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, this next joke's kind of intricate. Um, <laughs> Biden defended his mental acuity, Greg, while he seemed sleepy and grumpy, dopey, sneezy, bashful, and then happy when it was over. He represented all of the seven dwarves when he immediately went to see the doc. <laughs> uh, 
Lou, what did you make? What do you make of this situation? How does it look to the world? Is this crazy or what? Well, I want to see how far we can take it. Mm. Like, I, <laughs> like I want Biden 2028. <laughs> I just want to just want to keep going. And and also, like, I, I just got to say, you know, we have all these Americans here, like, oh, on the high horse. I can't believe that he did, he got this and this wrong. Like, did you guys really know that they had presidents in Egypt and Mexico? Because that was that was news to me. <laughs> we, I mean, growing up, we always called Mexicans Spanish Egyptians. Um, <laughs> So I, I can see the mix up there. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. <laughs> Kat, um, I know we pretty much scraped the bottom of the barrel of Biden jokes, but it just it just keeps giving us more material. Well, okay, so they he did this yesterday because he had to do this. Okay, right. this was like the hail mary pass. Yeah. This was Billy Madison challenging Eric to the ac academic decathlon. This was Happy Gilmore <laughs> at, at the golf tournament. This was a lowly wedding singer hopping on a flight to Vegas, for example. Yes, all my examples are Adam Sandler movies because those are the only movies that I watch. But in those movies, it's like when things get really desperate, let's try something crazy, which proves that like they were freaking out about yeah. this coming out, and 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 they should, right? I mean, let's just like we've been in this so long that it's easy to forget how crazy it is. Yeah. We're having a presidential race that's coming up, and it is, sorry, Nikki, but it is gonna be between two people, one of whom is not senile, but is being charged with stuff, and another one who is not being charged with stuff, but that's because he is senile. <laughs> yeah. What the f are we doing here? And like, everybody... <laughs> My goodness. I thought that things were supposed to return to normal. No. <laughs> Last you know, word, Joe. You know, Kat, when you mentioned the Billy Madison movie, I thought uh, they were going to prove Biden was smart by getting him to pass the first grade. 